This morning during an interview on Face the Nation, Dr. Fauci claimed to be above criticism and that criticizing him is criticizing science, which is apparently now a new religion with Dr. Fauci being a high priest. Anybody who spins lies and threatens and all that theater that goes on with some of the investigations and the congressional committees and the Rand Pauls and all that other nonsense. You got that congressional oversight of unchecked unelected power is nonsense according to Fauci. Cruz told the attorney general you should be prosecuted. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to laugh at that. <laughs> I should be prosecuted. What happened on January 6th, Senator? <laughs> I'm sorry, what does January 6th have to do with your funding of the Wuhan lab? And why would Ted Cruz be prosecuted? Do you think that this is about making you a scapegoat to deflect from President Trump? Of course. Of course, of course. As a journalist, isn't it your job to dig for the truth, not offer up conspiracy theories for this guy to deflect to a guy who's not even in charge anymore? There are a lot of Republican senators uh, taking aim at this. I mean, that's okay. I'm just gonna do my job and I'm gonna be saving lives and they're gonna be lying. Really or not they're lying is really up to the investigators to find out, isn't it? And again, isn't this journalist supposed to be doing that investigating? But instead she's carrying water for Fauci. I'm gonna go through the rest of this interview segment, but first check out this free coin offer for my viewers. If you've been thinking about investing safer so you can retire comfortably and sleep at night, it might be time to talk to Noble Gold about the tax advantages and other pluses of those precious metal IRAs. Of course, you might just love uncertainty, but but if you don't, this month, Noble Gold are giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying IRA you start. Call us at 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can just find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. It seems another layer of danger to play politics around matters of life and death. Right, exactly, exactly. And to me, that's, that's unbelievably bad because all I wanna do is save people's lives. I should be prosecuted. What happened on January 6th, Senator? <laughs> Fauci has been overtly political ever since Trump got out of office, but of course, I'm sure he sees it as different when he does it. And journalists are supposed to dig for the truth, not blatantly fawn over unchecked power like a propagandist. Does anyone think for one second that if the tables were turned and it was a Republican administration, that these so-called journalists wouldn't be digging like crazy with Dr. Fauci right now? But instead, Democrats are in charge, so the media puts out this narrative that Republicans are pouncing. Anybody who's looking at this carefully realizes that there's a distinct anti-science flavor to this. So if they get up and criticize science, nobody's gonna know what they're talking about. But if they get up and really aim their bullets at Tony Fauci, well, people could recognize there's a person there. Yeah, let me just remind you, Dr. Fauci, that when it comes to bullets aimed at people, it was Rand Paul who came under fire from a Democrat supporter who was incited by Democrats and their media saying that Republicans want you to die. So maybe you should think about that since you've been demonizing Ted Cruz and Rand Paul as, quote, dangerous for criticizing you. So it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. That's dangerous. No, what's dangerous are powerful unelected bureaucrats who claim to be the embodiment of science and above scrutiny like a cult leader who would claim to be the human embodiment of God. Science is a tool for finding the truth. It's not infallible and it doesn't shield you from criticism. All right, that's all I have for this one. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments.